I'm Kendall Zoppel with your market close report for Monday, March 7th. The Dow's effort to make it four weeks in a row got off to a solid start as the index was up 66 points. The S&P 500 closed up two points to 2002, its first close over 2000 since the first week of January. The big driver for the market today was oil as crude closed up nearly $2 a barrel to a 2016 high of $37 a barrel. Among Dow components, Caterpillar just keeps going, with the stock up 2.5% to 74 and 3 quarters. For those keeping track at home, the heavy equipment manufacturer has now recorded nine consecutive positive days in a row, with shares rising 14% during that period. Also in the black today was DuPont, which closed up 1.5% to 64 and 3 quarters. Shares of the chemical giant jumped on news that German chemicals manufacturer BASF is exploring a potential acquisition of the company. Complicating matters is the fact that DuPont is currently involved in closing another mega merger with Dow Chemical. Turning our attention to technology, Amazon dropped more than $12 to 562 and 3 quarters after announcing they would return full disk encryption to their Fire OS tablets. The company had quietly issued news last week that encryption would be removed from the tablets only to receive widespread criticism from users. Staying with Amazon, CEO Jeff Bezos moved up to number five on Forbes magazine's annual list of billionaires. One spot behind Bezos is Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg. Google founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin are 12th and 13th on the list respectively. Rounding out founders of Fang companies, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, and Google, is Netflix CEO Reed Hastings, who comes in at number 1,476 on the list, with a net worth of a measly $1.2 billion. Let's pick up the pace, Reed. We'll be back tomorrow with all the news that will move the market. Until then, I'm Kendall Zappa, wishing you a pleasant evening.